Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's Devin Kelsey here, back at it again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about the Stanley Hotel. Okay, so the Stanley Hotel is located in um, Estes, I believe that's how you say it, Park, um, Colorado. Um, it is amongst a bunch of beautiful mountain scenery um, because it's actually the gateway um, to the uh, National Park, the Rocky Mountains and stuff like that. Um, so in 1909, Freeland Oscar uh, Stanley built the infamous Stanley Hotel, um, which once he built that hotel, that just became the centuries and centuries long of mystery and eerie happenings that happened throughout this hotel. Um, so why is it famous? So the Stanley Hotel is famous um, because it has a very strong connection with Stephen King. It was King. his inspiration for writing the third novel for The Shining. In 1974, Stephen King and his wife Tabitha um, stayed at the Stanley Hotel because there was very bad weather and it was the closest hotel that they were able to make it to kind of thing, so that's just kind of where they stayed. Um, so upon check-in time, um, they noticed that it was um, the last day of the season, so they were actually going to be closing down the following day, um, which meant that there were very little staff members and that... Tabitha and Stephen King were actually the only uh, members that were staying in the hotel. That night, Stephen King had a nightmare about his son. Um, basically, that his son was running around the hallways of the hotel being chased by a fire hose. Um, so he reported that by the time he left the Stanley Hotel that he had the plot for The Shining um, in his mind. Andy, I'm home. So keep in mind that Stephen King did not direct The Shining movie, that was a man named um, Stanley Kubrick. Um, Stephen King was actually very disappointed on how the movie turned out, just because there was a lot of things that were different um, from the movie than it was in the book and how the actual story played out. Um, so I'm just going to insert a little clip here. Just problem with The Shining, and uh, Stanley Kubrick knew that I had a problem with The Shining. Uh, I had a discussion with him beforehand uh, he said Stephen Stanley Kubrick here don't you agree that all stories of ghosts are fundamentally optimistic I said what do you mean and he said well if there are ghosts it means we survive death and that's fundamentally an optimistic view isn't it and I said well Mr. Kubrick what about hell and there was a long pause on the telephone line and then he said in a very stiff and very different voice I don't believe in hell. And I thought to myself, well, that's fine, but some of us do, and some of us believe that ghosts may survive, and that may be hell. And that was sort of where I was coming from with The Shining. But in the novel, The Shining, uh, Jack Torrance is a difficult character, but he's fundamentally a, a sympathetic character. And I always visualized him as a piece of metal that's bent first one way and the other by these malignant spirits who basically want his son because his son is a psychically powerful person. So I saw these all as warm characters, characters that were being threatened by forces from without, from ghosts, from real supernatural creatures. And the film is extremely cold. Stanley Kubrick saw the haunting as coming from Jack Torrance, from the Jack Nicholson character, whereas I always saw it from outside. So we had a fundamental difference of opinion about it. I always... Yeah, so that's the video. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. I feel like that video, um, I feel like Stephen King really sums it up quite well for why he obviously did not enjoy the movie. So, yeah. Um, so... Good. So the Stanley Hotel is visited by ghost hunters regularly um, because it is considered uh, one of the most haunted hotels in the country. Um, there have been reports of mysterious figures appearing on the staircase, clothing being folded and packed away, the piano playing by itself, strange apparitions on portraits and photographs, unseen children running up and down the hallways. <laughs> and moving nightstands and shadowy figures. 
It is said that a ghost is a former hotel maid named Elizabeth Wilson. In 1911, a gas leak caused an explosion, which caused Mrs. Wilson to fall through the floor to the McGregor dining room below. She survived and was well taken care of by the Stanleys and spent the rest of her working life at the hotel. She is believed to be the one who will um, fold your laundry and put your things away for you. Room 217 is known to be haunted by Elizabeth Wilson and is also where Stephen and Tabitha King stayed. The concert hall is known to be haunted by Paul. He was a jack of all trades around the hotel. One of his duties was enforcing curfew. Some guests have reported late at night that they will hear, get out. The concert hall is also known for Flora Stanley's ghost to play the piano. And there's Lucy. Lucy enjoys um, entertaining the requests of ghost hunters by flashing lights. Although Stanley historians aren't quite sure about Lucy's connection to the hotel. Room 401. There's been reports of children giggling and playing, plus a closet that likes to open and close on its own. So the Stanley Hotel is actually somewhere that you can actually go and book to stay. Um, so I was kind of checking out their website and stuff, and they actually advertise that they have their haunted rooms and then they have their non-haunted rooms. Um, the entire hotel is so old, I am sure the whole hotel is very haunted itself, but I'm sure there are specific rooms that are more um, active than other rooms. Um, so they advertise those rooms. They're a bit more expensive, but um, I would definitely love to go try it out sometime. There are lots of YouTubers who have actually um, gotten uh, stayed at the Stanley Hotel, um, like Shane, Sam and Colby. Um, there's lots more, but yeah, I would definitely love to give it a try sometime. Um, it's something that I have to find somebody to do. So I would have to find somebody to go with me because Terrence is not about that kind of stuff. So he would definitely not be down for that, but. I'm all into that stuff, it's right up my alley, so I would love to go check it out sometime. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, um, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.